Hey everyone, thank you for clicking this video. So in today's topic, I'm going to help you how to keep your crickets alive a longer period of time when you're keeping them in the house. So the very first thing that you will need is a container where you can store your crickets. And you definitely want to get something that are high so that your crickets doesn't jump above the container. After you provide the container, you want to give them some substrates um, and overall, from my experience using different type of substrates, vermiculite tends to work the best. Um, and I really like them because it reduces down the smells a lot. You know, when you're keeping a lot of crickets, it kind of smells. And whenever I'm using vermiculite for some reason, it's just get rid of the smell quite a lot. So that's one reason. And also it just provides a dry environment for crickets. And that is one of the key thing when you're keeping them because if it's too humid, they tend to die pretty quick. So now after you got your substrates, you want to provide them some hides where they can stay dark during the day. And there are two things that I use. I use the egg crates and also empty kitchen towel roll. You know, after cleaning your gecko's tank for numerous times, you probably will use kitchen towels and at the end, um, there's a empty rolls that you can use and you just put it in the container and they will love going inside those rolls. And I especially like the roll a lot because when it's time to feed, feed my geckos, I need, all I need to do is I just simply pick one of those roll and put it into the dusting bag or dusting container. And that way, approximately like 50 to 100 crickets are in there each time. So I don't have to pick up individual crickets from the container whenever it's time to feed. So it helps a lot of times before feeding my geckos. And after I got the hides, I provide them some food and waters. And for the food, I use like a mixture grain powder and also like carrots and some juicy fruits. And I don't provide them water directly to crickets because I do often see them get drowned in there. So what I normally do is I'll give them some water gel instead or juicy fruits, either way it works. And after I provide all of those, I keep them in a temperature between 75 to 78. And for many years, after trying out a bunch of different temperatures, this tends to work the best. And one of the things that I noticed was that as you raise your temperature a little bit higher and make it a little bit warmer or hotter, the crickets ends up grow faster and that they die faster too. So 75, 78 tends to work the best. And if you're raising your crickets, I don't know the too much details of, of, about actually like breeding the crickets, but um, when you're getting pinheads and things like that, small size crickets, higher temperature seems to work the better because they need to grow fast when they're young. Now everyone's different when they are keeping the crickets, but this is how I do it. And I tried numerous ways for many years. And this is one of the best things that I could provide for anyone who's keeping the crickets in the house. So you will see some improvement there when you're trying out the way I do it. Now, after watching this video, if you're running out of your foods for your lovely geckos or lovely reptiles, we also offer insects like dubias, mealworms, and crickets on our website. So if you wanna check them out, come check us out on our website today. And that's pretty much it for this today's video. So I hope this answers your questions and help you keep your crickets a longer period of time. And if you have anything that you wanna ask that you don't want to spend time doing research online, uh, feel free to ask me questions down below and I'll create another video like this for you in the future. But other than that, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey look, if you enjoyed that video, I went ahead and picked out another special video that I know you're going to find it immensely valuable. You can find it right here. There I know you're going to love it and I'll see you in the next one.